Come on, you here we go. Let's go. Come with me, then I'll go get your food. Is that a deal? Come on, you guys know exactly what's gonna happen. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so this is normally where I have to wait till I see him there. And the egg, and if he turns around, it takes a while. But if I'm quick enough, I'm out the door, and Diego is still here. Uh, Diego, come on, let's go. Come on, Diego. Come on. We know you're going to get your food. Enzo. Come on, Enzo. Come on, let's go. I don't want the dogs to go in there when I open up. Because if they go in, it's 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are crazy as can be. Okay, let's try again. Diego, no. Usually I can push him still, but uh, it never would have worked, Enzo. He would have been straight on my back. Oh, man. Okay, you guys decide when you want to eat. Yeah, no, you make the decision, because apparently I don't know when you, you want to eat. So take your time, either walk through now, Enzo, come on, walk through now, now, come on, let's go, let's, no, no, I'm tired of tricking you, come on, let's go, Diego, 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 Let's go now. I'm going in, then you guys can wait here for one hour. Go in. If you want your food, go in. Go in. Diego. Oh, no, no. all right, no problem. Bye. <laughs> now look at those little wheels turn inside his head. You don't want to, so what must I do? Enzo? Walk this way. Diego? Diego? <laughs> Come on. I'm waiting for you guys. You're the only ones that's keeping yourselves from being fed. Enzo, come here, let me see you. Okay, you see Diego? Now I can make it. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's what I thought. He could have just bumped me in. He would have been out. <laughs> but I knew that and he didn't. Because last time I checked, I was the human. <laughs> okay, let's quickly go get. No, you guys stay here. You guys not going out there. Come on. Can you believe it, Katas? They do this all the time. Look at them there by the ducks. Oh, man. But wait, don't worry. I'm gonna get the food. Yeah, guys, helicopter part. Oh man, I clean it now and then. Let me just take this. I'm gonna take it like this. And then I can carry it. Now we put their food outside. You know, you have to, they have to understand you can't think that you're gonna keep tigers and they're gonna be just some of those animals that does not know what's going on. Now they see. Do you see, Diego? Here I've got your food. Enzo, do you see it? Smell it, look at it. Because you went through, that's why I can take it there for you. Oh, Trappi sees that side. Whew. You guys stay there, don't you? Trappies, go. I can't believe he still gets in here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't do that. Enzo, let go of his ear. 
What must he use to hear with? If I tell him to come through, what will he use to hear with? He needs his ear. And the ones who take his ear off. Can you believe it? Oh. Okay, I didn't divide it. Not this time. I only got down from the big tamale just now. Because there was something that bent in it. And I used the motor to just bend it straight. And then something broke loose and I had to fix it quickly and I did and improved it so now it's even better it's even better you guys oh, but wait I'm gonna take those bones out first I'm taking those bones out first because if you look over the wall and you see these bones well some people might just get some ideas it's like the people that move next to a car scrapyard and when the guy looked over the fence, he said, Phone someone! This is the biggest accident I've seen in my life! It's kind of that kind of thing. Okay, whew! Let me just see, is there another one around here? The water still blue, it's full of leaves, it's still blowing around. I'll probably clean it up tomorrow. But that's it. Okay, now please, boys. Don't just run to the one bucket, okay? Count, one, two. All right, are you guys fine with that? Are you guys fine with that? Go, and away they go. And it's Diego on the outside first. And he's growling and he's gonna give us a big, big growl with a meaty face right about now. There was a wire in the way. Gaines, I want to see you take that thing on because yesterday I had to cut that part with scissors. I want to see if you can eat it. No problem. <laughs> so what you're telling me Enzo is if we think we're going to get away because we've got long muscles we shouldn't be worried about that. You'll be able to swallow long muscles easily. <laughs> okay, Diego, did you manage to get all your stuff? Okay, all right. Diego, I really want to see those two holes in the back of your throat. I've been trying to film them for years. But you're going to have to lift your head up and growl. My light is on. We might have it. We might, we might, we might, we might, we might. I don't think we got it, but that's as close as we're gonna get. That's, that's close enough. With Enzo, I remember him lying upside down. Legs up in the sky. Yeah, I didn't make this foodie. I'm so sorry, Enzo. When I prepare it, well, I don't need to explain it. He knows the difference. He knows the difference. At least he's got time. <laughs> yeah, that is a piece of meat there. Take it. No, don't go for years. He's got the same problem you've got. You don't have a meat problem. You've got a shorty problem. Yeah. I don't know what's underneath that, Enzo. I really don't know. I, I, I was in the sky. I just... I was not aware of anything. Diego? <laughs> Are you done? Maybe it's like a lucky packet or something. I don't know. I got a lucky packet today. Two holes. Two holes. In your throat. I 
know about them. I just want to see them. It would be really interesting, Diego. Lift your head up. up. No, he's not going to. <laughs> okay, go ahead, eat your food, enjoy it. I just thought I could maybe get those two holes. It looks like it shouldn't be there, but it should. And it's very way it makes that sound that <laughs> from. That's the way tigers communicate when they still have their ears like Enzo almost took off Diego's ear <laughs> but then again Diego once almost took out Enzo's ear yeah look at that looked like he had an earring and it was ripped out kind of like it makes me think of that <laughs> Enzo, he tricked you guys. He just put the nice food on top. I'm sorry. I really didn't know. This is the kind of thing that makes tigers lose trust in you as a person. Disappointment. Guys, disappointment is probably the worst thing that can happen to anything or any one. It can never, ever be corrected again. If disappointment sets in, it will be remembered forever. I don't know if this light is that great. I think it's because there's too much daylight still. Oh, Diego! Okay, go in. This is a nice little one. Diego, there's a nice little piece of meat there. You're gonna miss it with that flat spot. Look at your nails! Whoa! You're grabbing onto this stuff like it's. Look at that. Guys, if it gets you with that, you are not getting away. That is designed like fish hooks. It holds. It's a claw. If it grabs you with that foot, it doesn't matter where it grabs you. Even if it grabs you by the finger. Now, I was grabbed by the finger once. There. And if my finger didn't, let me just see if I can zoom in on it. Ah, no. But if my finger didn't tear open, there's no way you could get away. You're lucky if he gets you with one nail and he's got his nail inside your finger and he holds you and he tears out but if he gets you with five of those claws all clamping towards a single point anywhere you're not you're not walking away you're not running away you can only go closer to him and when just when you think Okay, so then I'll just give up and wait to die. Then I'm going to give you the best advice you've ever heard in your life. You scream as loud as you can inside his ear. That's it. That's the only thing you need to do. You shout with everything that you have. <laughs> The sound must come out the other ear. Loud. People must put their fingers in their ears on the other side of the opposite ear that you shouted in. And you will run away. 
<laughs> yeah. Where did I learn that? Oh, from a monkey, of course. <laughs> Guys, I once... I, I was taking a shower and Arnie always also took a shower. But not with me. And one day Arnie was taking a shower with me. And Arnie decided he wanted me out of the shower. Guys, you don't have enough fingers to put into your ears and run. That's where I learned that lesson. A monkey taught me that lesson. So, I hope you never get into that position. If you do, make like a monkey. <laughs> that does not want to shower right now. <laughs> well, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like always, have a great day.